Welcome to the Wake Up Dad Show. This is episode number 24. Wake up, Dad! Are you confused and overwhelmed about your role in all the craziness that is being a dad? Are you struggling to create the life you hope for? Are you looking for other dads to share your struggles and your triumphs? Or do you just need help waking up in the morning? Join your host, Dr. Scott Vatcher, as he explores the amazing and sometimes crazy world of being a dad. This is the Wake Up Dad Show. Hey, Dad. Welcome to another episode of the Wake Up Dad Show. This show is dedicated to you, the dad who wants more success, time, health, fitness, connection, passion, and all-around awesomeness. I'm your host, Dr. Scott, and on today's episode... You talked about a quote that I saw on Facebook the other day. Isn't Facebook awesome for quotes? I just see so many quotes on there, and I'm I'm a big quotes guy. I love quotes. Um, I don't know if you like quotes or not. Some people, I don't know, maybe they don't like quotes. But um, I'm I'm a big fan of quotes. This is one by Simon Sinek. I don't know if you've heard of him. Uh, I've read a book of his called Start With Why. I don't know uh, if he's written any other books or not, to be honest, but uh, Start With Why was a great book about looking for your true purpose and passion in life, so it's probably good uh, reading material to get your get your hands on, or again, guys, audiobooks. I'm a massive fan of audiobooks at the moment, um, so yeah, there's no excuse in today's digital world not to be quote-unquote reading, uh, because I think... Even if you're listening to an audiobook versus reading a book, you get different things from it. I haven't actually read, physically read a book and listened to the audiobook of the same book to see what kind of differences you get. But I've read a lot of books and I've listened to a lot of audiobooks. And I think the way that you interpret that information is probably pretty different from one to the other so I reckon mix it up or if you just you know have the excuse that oh I don't read so I can't you know get this information knowledge from books then you do not have that excuse anymore you can't blame anybody but yourself for that audiobooks audible.com.au check it out well that's for Australia audible.com for uh, you folks listening over in the other side of the world so anyways back to Simon Sinek the quote that I saw was he said, working hard for something we don't care about is called stress. Working hard for something we do care about is called passion. Now let's break it down. Back to the first half of that quote. Working hard for something we don't care about is called stress. Now this comes back to P number four, providing, right? We all have to have some kind of a job now that you know doesn't include stay-at-home dads um, but I'm using the typical dad that's out there working to some degree or another um, you know, if we're working for something we don't care about now that's huge isn't it we've got a choice in where we work how we work when we work and every other type of work involved you may not think you have a choice and you might be stuck in a situation for a very short period of time, but long term, you absolutely have a choice in what you work for. So why not find Mm -hmm. something that you can work for that you actually care about? Because that's passion. So my, it draws my wife nuts that I work as much as I do. Now for me, I, I don't actually really feel like I work that much at all, not physically and not time-wise or number of hours a week, but because I'm passionate about what I do. It makes such an enormous difference. I've got three different companies on the go at the moment. Um, I guess might be what I would call like in the entrepreneurial world because I don't work for anybody else. All three companies are based on the work that I do, but they're all based around passionate things for me. I'm a chiropractor, so I have my own practice as a chiropractor, and I see a huge uh, family-based practice, lots of pregnant women, lots of babies, lots of families, and I get to see people transform their health every day. Um, And, you know, I'm involved in all kinds of different things, selling supplements in different 
venues, etc. Um, again, seeing people's changes over a period of time and coaching. So, you know, these are numerous things that I'm doing, but all of them revolve around passion for me. And because they revolve around passion, they do not feel like work, but I get paid great to do them anyway. So it's a really, really, really awesome concept. So when you're looking in the area of what you do for work, is it stressful for you? Is it something you just don't care about? Or is it passion for you? Is it something you truly do care about? In today's world, there's no excuse for us not to be doing something that we are passionate about. If you want to learn more about that, then you know, give me give me a holler. Send me an email, Dr. Scott at the Wake Up Dad Show dot com, and um, we can have a chat about it. So, um, really, the big picture, guys, is looking at your dad work. You know, so your dad work for this episode is revolving around P number four. You're providing. How are you providing for your family, and is it? something you don't care about and stressful or is it something that you're truly passionate about you know your dad works going to be pretty minimal if you are truly passionate about what you do but i would guess for the vast majority of people out there for you dads out there it's something you you truly don't care about that much and therefore becomes a stress becomes a drain on your purpose in your life really what that comes back to is how do you marry up your P number one purpose with your P number four providing. Because if you can marry those two up, man, you are flying. So that's it for today's episode, guys. Dr. Scott signing off. An ancient proverb once said, for a man to achieve his dreams, he must first wake up. Dad, you're not alone. This is your wake up call. We're in this together. All for one, one for all. Talk to you soon, guys. Do you want to know more about the Wake Up Dad movement? Go to www.thewakeupdadshow.com to download any and all past issues of the show, claim your free gift, or to directly ask Dr. Scott any questions you have. Continue the conversation on the Facebook group, Wake Up Dad. Share this podcast with other dads on iTunes or Google Play. Make sure to subscribe to the show and give us a rating so we can reach more dads. And dads, one last thing. Wake up!